Hello everyone, I'm Ann with Andale Homestead. I'm so glad to have you here today. What we're doing is we're going to be water glassing some eggs. So stick around. I've never done this before. We're gonna do it together. I've done some research, but I understand that you can preserve your fresh eggs up to two years. And right now, we know that our chickens are going to be slowing down soon. And instead of giving them away to our friends, we'd like to preserve them. So we'll have some fresh eggs for a year or so to come. So this is what we have going on here. Let me pull you down just a little bit so you can see what we're doing. As far as the eggs go, we have two dozen that are pretty clean as they came out of the chicken. They're pretty clean. I have not washed them because they tell me that they still need those blooms on the outside of the eggs while they're in there um, stewing. These are the dirty eggs. I didn't use those, so I had to pick through them to be able to do that. We're gonna water glass some eggs, and from what I understand, it preserves them beautifully. I just wanted to show y'all. Look at my cutting board. Isn't that gorgeous? And El Homestead, the land of plenty. Doesn't have a thing to do with the eggs, but I love it. Okay, so here we go. Let me turn you around um, so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. When you are a water glassing eggs, it's really a simple procedure. You just need water. You need some pickling lime or some sort of household edible lime. You need a container for them to go in. And what I did was I picked through our eggs that came, they're fresh, they have not been washed. But uh, I, I just, I didn't want real dirty ones <laughs> because you're not supposed to wash them before you put them in. You wash the bloom off and then the lime will get inside the egg and ruin it. So let's get started. I've never done this before. We're doing it. It's all in research of how we do things. I'm going to use a quart jar to measure two quarts. So there's one. My wrist is giving me a little bit of a hard time today, so I'm going to do the best that I can. And now two. We'll use more, but I saw one woman that put her all her water in first and the lime, and then she couldn't fit her eggs in there. <laughs> so I wanna make sure I don't make a mistake like that. Now I'm gonna put the lime. This is two ounces for two quarts. Let's put that in there. Let's get that out of the way. And then we're gonna stir it up so that all the lime gets all in that mixture of water. Because I have, oh, that was loud. I have no idea how many eggs will go in here. I mean, I know that two dozen will go in this container. And I found this container at the thrift store for $2.50, yes ma'am. And it's got a little thing on here that I can put water glass eggs and today's date on it. And I'm excited about that. So let's see if we can do more than one egg at a time. From what I understand, you want to make sure that the water covers the eggs. All right, we'll go for the second dozen. because if I need another quart of water, I can easily add that. But it's one-on-one -on -one ratio. One quart of water, one ounce of lime. I'm excited about this because, you know, we all know that our fresh chickens eventually slow down in their laying and we wanna make sure that we still have some eggs. You just pull them out, wash them off, and you're supposed to cook them. I mean, they're they're like raw eggs. Uh, you can fry them, scramble them, boil them, do whatever. All right, now I'm uncomfortable. If you can see, the eggs are sticking out a little bit. So I'm gonna add another ounce of pickling lime. Let's see if I can get a spoon. 
And I already know how much one ounce is because I've already, oh, there's already a spoon in there. <laughs> because I've already pre-measured it before I came to visit with you guys. And so, here we go. And it comes up to be a little less than that 10 milligrams is how much an ounce is. And honestly, I think it's, you know, members of the Close Enough Club, right? Members of the Close Enough Club. Now, we're going to get another quart of water. So that's three quarts of water, three ounces of lime. And it doesn't turn the shells rubbery or anything. It's Honestly, it's just like having fresh eggs, but they're preserved. Pretty cool. Hmm. Well, that wasn't hard, huh? What I'm going to do now, put the top on it and set it in my pantry so that I know that I have some eggs when it comes to the tough winter times, February, March, when our chickens might not be laying, I still got a couple of dozen eggs in my pantry. You know, we just want to be ready, right? And that's what I want you to do. I just want you to be ready for whatever comes up. Thank you so much for coming to Handale Homestead. Remember, the Lord says, I know the plans I have for you, say the Lord. They're plans for good and not to harm you. Their plans for hope and a future. I love you all. Give it a try. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.